Well, good morning again. This is something I normally don't do, but you're going to get a second little homily uh, this weekend on the second on the 16th Sunday in ordinary time. Um, I spent quite a lot of time trying to hammer out some ideas about the wheat and the tares, or the weeds and the wheat uh, parable of Jesus, and I wasn't satisfied with my uh, attempt uh, at that exegesis. It just didn't seem to, even though my I think my bottom line thesis about that was about the mystery of the kingdom of God. And as Jesus portrays the kingdom of God, he kind of uses again the parables uh, to, if you will, wrap a kernel of truth. But again, it's not completely, it's kind of opaque. Uh, you can kind of see it, you can kind of understand it, kind of get a feel for it, but it's not as explicit, I think, uh, as, as maybe we would like to have it, or uh, maybe some of us would like to make it a little bit more black and white. Here's my point. Um, a lot of times when we look at the wheat and the tares, or the wheat and the weeds uh, parable, and we look at it just by itself, uh, we can kind of be led to a conclusion that I don't know is, is, is accurate, and that is, are the weeds bad people and the wheat good people? Now, clearly, a lot of people automatically think that that's what Jesus is referring to. Again, we'll just go back and quickly read it. You know, it says, um, He dismissed the crowds and he went into the house, and his disciples approached him and said, Explain to us the parable of the weeds in the field. And he says, in reply, he who sows good seed is the son of man. That would be, of course, our Lord. In the field is, the field is the world, okay? The good seed, the children of the kingdom, or maybe the, the fruit of the kingdom, okay? Children could be seen as offspring, not necessarily meaning individuals and people, but, but the offspring, uh, the fruit, if you will, the byproduct, if you will. And he says the weeds are the children of the evil one. And the enemy, the one who sows them, is the devil. And the harvest is the end of the age. The harvesters are angels. And just as weeds are collected and burned up with fire, so it will be at the end of the age. And then this is where it gets interesting. He says, the Son of Man will send his angels, and they will collect out of his kingdom all, all who cause others to sin and all evil doers." And they will be thrown into the fiery furnace where there will be wailing and grinding of teeth. And then the righteous will shine like the sun in the kingdom of the Father. Whoever has ears ought to hear. So one of the things that is a little bit troubling is when we talk about the weeds and the wheat, are we talking about individuals, people? Uh, because when we look at the first two examples of the parables, again, Jesus is talking again about this mystery. The kingdom of God is first and foremost a mystery, and I kind of emphasize that with my Sherlock Holmes hat and uh, my calabash. Again, we don't totally understand, but we do know that we're looking at the kingdom of God, and the kingdom of God is this wonderful... Um, uh, uh, this wonderful... Uh, place that God is preparing uh, for uh, those he loves. Now remember, he came to save Jesus, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever would believe would have eternal life. So when I look at the weeds and the wheat, and it's interesting, weeds and wheat, uh, as I was doing in the first homily, I discovered that uh, in the early stages, it would be almost, well, for at least a layman like myself, it would be impossible to really even tell well, is that weed or is that wheat? It all looks like wheat in the beginning. And it's not until the actual harvest time where the weeds, the, the non-wheat is more apparent and evident. And so, but what I, but I, 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 I guess I, I, I uh, am a bit reticent to start saying, well, this is, you know, these, the weeds are the bad people and the wheat is the good people. Uh, I think it gets a little bit more uh, in depth and involved in that, because in believe it or not, the church actually condemned the heresy of pre double uh, uh, double predestination. In other words, some people are just marked out uh, for uh, hell, and other people are marked out for heaven. 
Again, uh, what we find in the parable is the, the mystery of good and evil, uh, I think, in the world at large. This last weekend, we tragically, uh, the Malaysian airline uh, uh, passenger uh, plane that was shot down uh, by pro-Russian uh, separatists in the Ukraine. So again, we look at the concept of evil in the world. And even, uh, I think Father Barron tried to tackle this as well in his little video homily on the same uh, readings for the 16th Sunday in Ordinary Time. But so what I'd like to think, of, uh, the way I like to see it is that the first two parables give us, um, if you will, the tone uh, of what Jesus, I think, is trying to say. And if you look at the first two, uh, the first parable is all about um, uh, the kingdom of God. He's talking to them. Uh, again, he does talk about the weeds in the, in the field. And an enemy has come and sown these evil or these bad things in, 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 the, in the field. And he doesn't want to uproot them all at once because if you do that, you're going to pull up some of the weeds. I mean, wheat, and you may, may not pull up all the wheat, wheat, but you may even damage the wheat that's still left. So again, there's a sense of, if you will, acceptance of the good along with the evil. But instead of looking at the weeds as people, as individuals, and the wheat as, as individuals, I, I kind of looked, I, I think it, it's safe to say that these are the byproducts of someone who sows evil and someone who sows good. These are the fruits, the, the offspring, if you will, the byproducts uh, that come about as a result, as, as a result of, of either good seed being sown uh, in our lives or our bad seed being sown in our lives. But what I think what really uh, we need to focus on uh, is the fact that what Jesus says is that those, um, he says, um, all who cause others to sin are all evildoers. And so if you go back to the beginning of the parable, the first time he announces it before he gives the explanation, he says, an enemy has sown bad seed. The seed in of itself, yes, it may result in bad things, but it's the person who sows the bad seed is the evil one. The one who, who teaches others to sin, that's the evil one. That's the evil person, if you will, or the, or the devil and maybe his, his angels, perhaps. So I, I think for me, uh, and I hope, hopefully uh, this is a, a good exegesis, it's a sound exegesis based upon Matthew 13, is that not so much we look at the individual weeds and wheat as being you know, people being either saved or condemned, but those are the byproducts of someone who actually sows, intentionally sows evil and bad things. And those are the ones, clearly, who are marked out for perdition and for eternal punishment. So if you're, you know, because sometimes what happens is this. People will think, well, am I a weed or am I a wheat? And I even, I even read some exegesis from other um, Christians, uh, some Catholics, some not, who, who make that distinction. Well, the weeds are the bad people and the wheat are the good people. And I don't know if you can actually quite say that with, uh, with certainty uh, because what constitutes a bad person is the evil intention that they desire to cause. So I, I think the reason why I'm, I'm making this point now on the second attempt at trying to do this video, this homily, is because I, I, I think I want, I want to make sure people aren't, you know, kind of second guessing themselves and saying, well, am I a weed? Or am I a wheat? Am I a good person or am I a bad person? Now, clearly, it's, it, it is the case that all of our lives are kind of a composite of the, of the weeds and the wheat, you know? Uh, you know, we, we're that field, and that field has lots of things in there, you know, not to mention the rocks uh, and, the, and, the, and the, 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 the potholes and uh, all, all these other things that cause, uh, you know, uh, frustration in, in farming and agriculture. 
Uh, and so we sometimes we you know we take the rain with the sunshine. You know, it's all a, it's all a composite. Uh, I talked about uh, the the danse sacré, the danse profane, the dance sacred and profane. I mean, many of us, if we're honest, we recognize in our own personal lives. We've done good things, and we've unfortunately we've made bad choices. We've, we've, we're sinners, you know, first and foremost. So again, because uh, the first two or the, the other two parables seem to talk about God making provision uh, and the mystery of that kingdom, how it, it isn't always seen, uh, but it's, it's bringing forth an abundance. It's bringing forth an increase. It's bringing forth, uh, in, in some ways, uh, wholesomeness, okay? Uh, and yet, yeah, there are impurities, there are problems. And, and so that's what I want to focus on on this second attempt at this uh, gospel. Uh, because again, the, even the first uh, couple of readings talks about the leniency and the clemency of God. Um, we know uh, that God makes, uh, he says, your mastery over all things makes you lenient to all. This is from the first reading from um, from wisdom. Okay, for you, for you show your might when the perfection of your power is disbelieved, but though you are a master of might, you judge with clemency and with much lenience you govern us. So I really think there's a case to be made that uh, when we look at the weeds in the wheat parable, we have to be careful that we don't start kind of second guessing ourselves and asking ourselves the question, which a lot of people seem to are uh, arbitrarily uh, uh, appropriate to this that oh well, either you're going to be a weed or a wheat I think it's a little bit more it's a little bit more mysterious than that it's a little bit more complex than that but I think uh, we need to look at the people that are doing evil causing evil and again this is an interesting concept here is a person who's going about their business they're trying to do something good they're trying to be um, uh, literally a good uh, provider by growing good wheat, and then somebody decides they want to mess that up and, and cause uh, this problem by, by casting evil things in this, in this otherwise good field. Well, again, that's something that, that shows intentionality. intentionality. Uh, somebody chooses to do wrong. Somebody chooses to do evil. So that's the question I think we have to ask ourselves is not so much are we a weed or a wheat, are we somebody who's trying to cause evil and, and bad things to others? And if the answer is no, which I'm sure it is for most of us, then we don't have to be fretting as, am I a weed or am I a wheat? Now, there are gonna be bad byproducts in our lives, and, and I do believe that, again, God in his loving providence uh, will make a provision for all of us. Again, uh, I talked a little bit about purgatory in the last video. Again, purgatory is not a mini hell for Catholics, you know, for punishment. But purgatory is a place of refinement. It's a ref the, 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 the refiner's loving, loving fire that purifies us and, 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 and burns out all the rust and dross of sin uh, before we actually are ushered into the, the banquet hall of heaven, okay? So uh, again, I wanna make sure that people, uh, at least in your own way, kind of get a chance to hear something that's a, a not quite so you know, black and white uh, again, I don't. We always have to be careful that we listen to what Jesus says, but we don't uh, either make it too one way or the other. We have to kind of take it as a whole, and and then kind of deal with it. So again, the, there is the, the he talks about the reality of evil in the world and people the, that evil comes from people who uh, intentionally set out to do harm to to others. So I think that's really uh, the the message of the kingdom there. I hope you got something out of that this week. Thank you for your patience, and I'll try to upload this as quickly as I can. And have a great weekend. God bless.